Welcome to BTU, the Brandenburg University of Technology Cottbus Senftenberg. I am Jule. And I am Laura. This is a 360 degree video and you can look around with the help of your mouse. Alternatively, you can use the tool button in the upper left corner. We are located here at the Forum of the University, at the so-called Central Campus in Cottbus. Here you can relax between lectures. Behind us is the main building, where you can also find the administration. To the left of us is the cafeteria. Over there, you can see the Central Lecture Hall building, where most of the lectures take place. How such a lecture hall looks like from the inside, I will show you now. This is a lecture hall. There's not much to see if there's nobody there, and if there's someone there giving a lecture, then it gets complicated. After all, this is a university. So let's go straight on and see what else there is to discover here. From the Forum you can get to Konrad Wachsmann Allee. It stretches from east to west across the campus. Via the Konrad Wachsmann Allee you can reach almost all the teaching buildings on foot or by bicycle. At the end of the avenue there are research halls. And now let's have a look at what's going on there. These systems can generate high voltages over 1 million volts. This can be used, for example, to test whether appliances from the power supply system can survive a lightning strike. Such devices can also be tested under arctic temperatures or tropical weather conditions in the climate chamber on the left. This includes the testing of electrotechnical components, one of many interesting tasks from the field of electrical engineering. More about this course of study under link 1 in the video description. Have you seen enough? Well, then look where Jule is. Hey, I'm here in the TV studio of the Faculty of Media Technology. Electricity flows here as well, but with much lower voltages. It flows as analog or digital signal and transports images and sounds through the many devices you see here. Information and media technicians deal with these signals and their distribution via satellite or via the Internet. The BTU offers a wide range of courses in this field. Just have a look at the video description under link number 2. If you're interested in environmental topics, Laura has just the right thing for you. This is the department of environmental sciences. In the reactors, microorganisms are cultivated, which recycle biological waste and convert it into biogas. Recently, these special microorganisms have even begun to be used for storing wind energy. Such processes, which were developed at BTU, are a very important component for the success of the energy turnaround. But this is not the only thing that is happening here. These small jars contain the residue that remains after biogas production from waste. The soil is analyzed here in the laboratory. This provides information about the nutrient content. In the end, the fermentation residue can be used in agriculture so that the material cycle is closed. If you're interested in studying environmental sciences, please have a look at the video description under link number 3. Now Jule will show you what else can be done to save resources. Let's go! I am here in the Pantarai Research Hall. Under the roof of Pantarai, there are several departments dealing with lightweight construction and material development. Especially nowadays, this topic is of great importance to save energy and thus CO2. Let's take a look at how this looks in detail. An important technology for implementing the energy turnaround is hydrogen. But to store hydrogen, you need highly stable pressure vessels. These are made of solid metal and therefore very heavy. The alternative is reinforcing fibers, the use of which is being researched here in Hall 4C. The robot deposits carbon fibers with high precision. The fibers are fixed with the laser and this results in pressure vessels that are much lighter for the same stability. Thanks to the reduced mass, a lot of drive energy is saved. These two cabins contain robots with powerful lasers that can melt and cut metal. The melting and application of metal works like 3D printing and is called additive manufacturing. In this way, components can be produced that cannot be forged or cast. This opens up completely new possibilities in the design of components. Metal components are available for the most diverse requirements. 
to improve their resistance to high pressure and high temperatures, nanometer thin layers can be applied. This is done in this device according to the physical gas phase shutoff method. If you want to know exactly how this works, you have to come to us. The quality of the coating can also be examined with the help of an electron microscope. The special feature of an electron microscope is its ability to magnify to the atomic level. So, these tiny material structures can be analyzed, understood and improved. You've probably already noticed that there is a lot going on in there. And if you're interested in studying mechanical engineering, then take a look at link number 4 in the video description. We are now in front of the Pantaray Halle. Pantaray means everything flows. And as you can see, the flow is reflected in the streamlined shape of the hall. But Pantaray is not the only building with an interesting architecture. If you're interested in studying architecture, then this is the right place for you. This is a studio, a large workroom where students work on their architectural designs, develop concepts, draw plans or build models. There are enough of these studios for all students of architecture, urban planning and civil engineering to find their own place of work. As these three study programs are closely linked, students work together in various seminars. This teaching concept is known as the Cottbus model and has proven to be very effective in preparing students for their professional future. If you're interested in architecture, urban planning or civil engineering, please have a look at the video description under link number 5. And who knows, you might soon be designing something like this. I am here at the BTU Information, Communication and Media Center. The building was designed by the award-winning architectural firm Herzog and de Moron, who also designed the Elbphilharmonie Concert Hall in Hamburg, among others. And we will now show you what the building looks like from the inside. The IKMZ is home to the University Library. Here you have access to over 1 million books and magazines, but also to digital specialist literature. There are large reading rooms for group work and quiet areas for individual study. A friendly university with excellent facilities offers you the best study opportunities. You don't know yet if or what you want to study? Have a look at the pages of the Student Advisory Service. Here you will find information on all degree programs as well as on orientation studies. We hope you enjoyed our little virtual campus tour. See you soon!